Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Going to read through the full article here pretty much. There's a link in the description. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. And if you think that I'm doing a half decent job with the channel, please do consider becoming a member. I'd love to get to 10 members. I only need 10 more and then I will hit that goal. Um, I'm going to read through pretty much the full details within the article. Then after that, I'll go on a bit of a rant. Uh, this is political in nature, I believe, I suspect. So I'm going to go on a rant, but before I do that, let's take a look at the details. So it's in regards to an explosion and a subsequent fire, which occurred at a soybean crushing plant in Iowa. I'm not quite sure when this happened. This article was published December the 8th. The tweet in question says December the 9th. So the 8th or the 9th, there or thereabouts, we see it here, the plant, a soybean crushing plant. That's right. It's a part of the food production industry. I'm going to ramble on about that towards the end of the video. Um, soybean crushing plant in a town called Marengo, Iowa, 25 miles outside of Cedar Rapids. There was an explosion, then a large fire. We can see plumes of smoke several homes nearby were evacuated um at the point of publication the fire was still in the process of being controlled uh i presume it has been controlled and i would also presume that millions upon millions of dollars worth of damage has occurred around 10 to 15 people have been injured we're not told as to the extent of their injuries uh, we're not told of any fat fatalities, but we are told that the local healthcare facility, the University of Iowa healthcare facility, was inundated with multiple patients, around 10 to 15 that were injured uh, due to the explosion at the soybean production facility, 25 miles southwest of Cedar Rapids. So that's pretty much all we know. There was a loud bang, a boom, an explosion, and then a subsequent fire. There were around 30 people working at the facility at the time. Approximately half of them were taken to the local medical facility. Again, we're not told about the extent of the injuries. Hopefully, they're all okay. Hopefully, they got all the treatment that they need. Hopefully, there's no life-threatening or ongoing conditions, injuries incurred, hopefully. That's pretty much all the information that we have, but I am now going to launch onto a bit of a rant, a bit of a rant. I did mention that this is uh, somewhat political in nature, okay? So I'm just going to touch on that. Um, I have read multiple articles over the last 12 months, maybe even less than 12 months, in regards to multiple food production facilities in America suffering from fires suffering from explosions, suffering millions upon millions, tens of millions of dollars worth of damage, again, dozen, within dozens of food production facilities. I think there's been around 20 or more than 20 cases within the last 12 months, give or take. Various places across America, various food production facilities suffering explosions and fires i think i'm right in saying that at least two facilities had planes crashing into them yeah two that happened twice it may have even happened three times now this is highly unusual and it's also not very well publicized i forgot about this situation that this was something that came up quite a lot earlier in the year and then, you know, I'm human just like everyone else. I know that you guys think I'm, you know, like really super smart. Yeah, maybe. But my memory fades. And uh, we forget about these things. We all forget about these things. It becomes a talking point and then it doesn't, it's no longer a talking point. The media doesn't cover this, these situations. Uh, such discussion as poo-pooed as being conspiracy theorists and... That's the end of that. We forget about these things. But here's a reminder that seemingly, I've got to say, in I won't say my opinion, in some people's opinion, in some people's opinion, 
something is a foot. It is not normal to have this number, this level of fires and explosions occurring in factories, full stop, regardless of the type of factory. I mean, this, again, is in America, you know. This isn't in a third world country. This isn't in China, where I think I'm allowed to say you can expect such explosions occurring left, right and center. This is in America. You guys have regulations in place. You know, this isn't normal. If you look at the statistics, obviously, I'm not in a position to point to the statistics, but I have previously read in other articles in regards to the numerous fires and explosions in numerous food production facilities over the last 12 months within America. The statistics are such that fires and explosions within factories is, is pretty rare. Yet here we are with literally dozens, I think I'm right in saying, of cases of fires and explosions in US-based food production facilities. It's happening time and time again. Now, why is this happening? Is this just coincidence? Is this just unfortunate? Is it because these factories are not being maintained as well as they ought to be? Are those the reasons? Possibly. What are the other possible reasons? Well, some conspiracy theorists, not myself, of course, no, but some conspiracy theorists would think, well, there's got to be some organizations that are purposefully attacking food production facilities that's trying to uh, diminish the, the uh, food supply chain to try to harm the food supply chain to contribute to all of this chaos that is occurring throughout every aspect of society at the moment. You go down to your, su your local uh, pharmacy, what are you going to see? Well, you're going to see lots of people shoplifting. That's one thing that you'll see at your local pharmacy. Another thing you'll see is that there's uh, no cough medicine. All of that's gone. Everyone's got coughs at the moment. Coughs and colds and all of that kind of thing. You know, there, there are supply chain issues. You go to your supermarket, are you going to be able to find toilet paper? Yeah, maybe, maybe right now. But not if there's a lockdown, you know. We're told that the food prices are increasing we, we can see it, um, you know, the cost of meat has skyrocketed. The cost of vegetables has skyrocketed. You buy two bags of groceries, it costs $300. Bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. This seems to be not helping. Having this level of explosions and fires in food production facilities, I don't think that's going to help, to be honest. I think that's going to contribute to the issues faced by the food supply chain. So some conspiracy theorists believe that there are parties doing this purposefully. What parties could arrange such a high number of attacks on factories? You know, if there are dozens, which I believe there to be, what kind of organizations could arrange such things? <coughs> United States government, perhaps. Is it possible that activists are doing this? Is that possible? I've got to throw it in there as a possibility. We've just seen, forgive my ignorance, but you've had in America some power plants just destroyed, haven't you? Or severely damaged. Um, has that been in Washington? Has it been elsewhere? I think perhaps this has happened a few times just in the last week. Um, I know that in one incident at, uh, at least... It was uh, a power plant was shot with AR-15 rifles, I believe, by those activists that were against the drag queen story hour being held in a local facility. So those activists caused severe damage to a power plant. So I don't know. It, it is seemingly possible. It's possible that uh, activist groups might be playing a part in some level of domestic terrorism. I don't quite get the motivation as to why an activist group would attack a soybean production plant. So I'm not sure how convinced of that, of that potential theory 
I don't know how convinced I am. Perhaps not very. But anyway, th there's my bit of a ramble. I just really wanted to remind you that this is not an isolated incident. That this has happened dozens of times. I believe I'm right in saying that multiple buildings, multiple factories within the food production industry have mysteriously found themselves to be on fire. And this is just another case of that. Will it be the last? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing no, it won't be the last that we see. And is the media going to cover this topic? No, the media will fail to cover this topic. This is a Breitbart article. Breitbart is generally considered to be a right-wing, uh, political-leaning publication. And in my mind, and you might disagree with this, but in my mind, it's really just the right wing that cover these kind of subjects. That It's the right wing that questions anything which is not which is potentially against um the united states government you know or anything which could be ridiculed as being a conspiracy theory or such it's only the right wing media that covers it in my mind could be entirely wrong but that's my feeling anyway i've gone on too much of a ramble has this been worthwhile if so consider joining uh, being a membership if not fair enough appreciate that take care